High school conservatives deliver brutal blow after administration tries silencing them. Free speech for some, but not for others, that's what a school district in Minnesota is accused of engaging in after it silenced a conservative group upset over anthem protests. Now, the district is facing a federal lawsuit from members of the Young Conservatives Club. The controversy started in November, when a group of liberal students at Adena Public School near Minneapolis protested during both the national anthem and a TAPS ceremony meant to honor soldiers on Veterans Day. According to USA Today, the conservative student group posted a video speaking out against the protest, objecting to the behavior of several left-leaning young people who had refused to stand to honor veterans. Several other students who were not members of the conservative club made disparaging comments on the video. A different video posted by anonymous students calling themselves Adena High School anti-fascists, Antifa, also referenced the Young Conservatives Club, and threatened members of the conservative group. In response to all of this, the school completely disbanded the Young Conservatives Club. Adena High School has essentially declared itself to be Big Brother, to ensure that students think correctly about the U.S. flag, political and social issues, Eric Ka Ertl, an attorney representing the conservative students, told USA Today. Adena High School principal Andrew Beaton allegedly told club president Nick Spades that even posting the video of other students protesting the American flag and veterans was a violation of school policies. Spades said the principal then demanded he not only delete the group me site, but also disband the Young Conservatives Club or face discipline for being in violation of an unspecified policy, reported USA Today. In other words, protesting the American flag is fine in the eyes of the school, but bringing attention to it isn't permitted. Associating with Antifa is allowed, but pointing out disrespect toward veterans crosses the line. Our club was disbanded, because we were accused of being intolerant of student protesters during a Veterans Day assembly at our school, Spades said. The student group's lawsuit is requesting that the school's one-sided speech policy be deemed unconstitutional, and for the Young Conservatives Club to be reinstated. For all the chanting about tolerance and diversity from the modern left, it looks like it only works one way. Groups that call out protesters are not just criticized but completely demolished, while veterans and the American flag are treated like the enemy. If all of the conservative group's claims are accurate, then the school district definitely has some explaining to do in court.